in Luke chapter 13 from verse 6. He spake also the par this parable, a certain man had a fig tree planted in the vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. And then said he unto the dresser of the vineyard, Behold these three years, I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and I find none. Cut it down, a while crumbled it to the ground. And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year until I shall dig around it and dug it. And if it bear fruit well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. I just read it then, word. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And you see, we always find people. And behold, there was a certain woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. I'll stop there, Father. Bless this word right now. Father, bless this congregation. Father, you telling us something. And I pray in the name of Jesus, as we come, we will receive. Even if we come empty, God, we shall be filled. It is something that should thought this morning that we should carry out. May God for the whole week. I pray in the name of Jesus. Remember your handmaiden right now. God gives strength. Strengthen us. Strengthen me in the name of Jesus. Not myself, but let thy will be done in the name of Jesus. So, Father, bless right now as we pray and as we lift up our hearts uh, as we lift up our voice uh, as we lift up our mind uh, as we lift up our soul to receive what you have to give unto us uh, in the name of Jesus and all of us will say Amen, Amen. God bless you and take your seat Amen Hallelujah Nothing but dry leaves. Nothing but dry leaves. Amen. In the scripture that I read here, there's a saying that goes on as close as Christmas is, you know, many hot hand will be cold. And that is true. I'll do it a couple of weeks from now, I can say it. Christmas is weeks from now, you know. Yes. Not months, weeks from now. Yeah. A lot of hot hay will be cold. Yeah. Who knows if one is mine? Nobody knows. You see, nobody knows when this cold hay will come, but nobody knows because when the master, hallelujah, of the whole vineyard, that control, amen, will say it is time for your head to be cold, it will be cold, amen, if it is not, well, it will continue to be hot, amen, amen, and it is very true that it always happens, amen? amen, the owner of this vineyard is, is checking out uh, um, his tree, amen, it is just like rain uh, in the natural that you plant, you dig around, you look around and you look to see what really happened, as well as the spiritual one, uh, when you give your heart to the Lord, uh, you look that you will increase, amen, you look that uh, you, you will blossom, it look uh, uh, that, that you will water, uh, you know when I said water, uh, that you will grow, amen, as I said last Sunday, last Sunday, that is a chorus that we sang in Sunday school, uh, we strike and strike, uh, 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 and, 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 and we go down heavy with it, no? Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Pray every day. And you will grow. Grow and grow. Neglect. Amen. Amen. Forget to prayer. And your strength, strength. Thank you. That's how it is. There's someone here is ministering and they're getting through with a word more and say, then I watch them. They're here to help one another. You understand what I mean? You just help one another and your time will come that you will get help. So I thank you, amen. And let me tell you, it is just like the tree uh, that the master was talking about. Uh, glory to God. If you don't uh, prune around it, uh, if you don't get around it, uh, if you don't water it, uh, it is just as spiritual as well as the natural. Uh, amen. Uh, look on the natural side and look on the spiritual side. Uh, 
it is a work. It is a work. I beg God to help you. Amen. Just as the natural, just as the spiritual, and talking don't make your salvation or your soul grow. It is what you put in. It's what you're going to get. And somebody don't even know what you're going to put in. But when you get one side and you call upon God and you tell God and you come up, you know, they don't know how you what you put in.
Jesus. So three years taking up space. Three years taking up space. Sometimes people take space. Take up a lot of space. And no use whatsoever. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. But just taking up space. You ever know somebody taking up room? Huh? <laughs> With that the tree here, this, this tree, this tree was like that. Just taking up space all the time. A long time. Hallelujah. And that the keeper of the vineyard say, cut it down. Listen good. The keeper of the vineyard say, cut it down. Amen. But the keeper of the vineyard saying, Give it one more year. Another chance. Give another chance. Don't think about destroying right now. Church of God. Sometimes we think about destroying. We think about putting down. We think about what we know. We think about what we heard. We think about what somebody is saying. We, and all of that. But let me tell you something. But the master of the vineyard. Hallelujah. Say no, no. Give it another year. One more year. He didn't say another two years or three years or four years. He didn't say another month or a day. He said give it another year. Which is three months again. But the keeper of the vineyard is the Holy Spirit. I said the keeper of the vineyard is the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something. The Spirit of God directs us Amen. I said the Spirit of God direct us. When we speak in tongues, we only have to have an interpreter. Otherwise, we glorify God in our tongues. Because nobody know what you are saying, but God knows that you glorify Him. Except we have an interpreter to say what I say in the name of Jesus. So the whole, I'm telling you, this owner, the owner of this vineyard, my God is the Holy Spirit. And the tree of the vineyard is you and I. I said the tree of this vineyard is you and I. Either bear fruits or I don't leaves dry off. Either bear fruits or it come down in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we speak hallelujah about bearing fruits. When it is time for you to bear we don't see that you bear none. We don't see them come out. If you are bearing fruits Are you occupying your space? Are you using up your space? Are you hiding out? I pray to God. But what we are going through, it don't make sense to talk about it. It don't make sense to complain. Because listen, it's not going to be any better. I said any better. We are praying to God that this system will open up. That we will have church. That we will have church. I'm going to say have church to me. No church to you know what I mean? Even if it's once a night. Amen. Once a week. Amen. And church on Sunday morning. And church Sunday evening. I'm talking about church. But in this world that we're living in. That we see here in Barbados. Let me tell you. What it, the people that have the music and things. On the world, so I call it, you know. Huh? Anyhow, the a word. Listen, not over there. We talk about here. They are asking our government for space and room that they could have the dancing, then a jump up and everything. You know what I mean now? Huh? The, uh, even if not prop over, the usual thing for the Friday night. The usual thing that always always stay. The usual thing this place. And the usual thing the next place. Um, because they're lacking and they ain't getting no money here. What we doing on the talk? We only talk 
walking and who will learn to step in don't have the privilege because they're not there. You know, they're not the person. What we doing, those people out there are asking them, we are suffering, we, we keeping back, we ain't getting through, we lost this for this year, we lost that for last year. What we lost, we ain't lost anything. My God have mercy. I pray that God will help us. We ain't say it, so we ain't Christian. Come up and say something. You're fighting again what the government said. We going and protocol. We doing what you say, but we got to let somebody know that we serve the true and living God. And we need room to We need some space. We need the church to open up. We need to get back here. We need to pray for the government. We need, we need, we need, we need, we need. You ain't hearing nothing. The on sale coming up. But we ain't doing nothing. We ain't hearing nothing. We just like we shrink. We neglect it. Our calling, we neglect it. We ain't going around the tree. We ain't looking to see if it's a bear. We only look to see those trees that bear. And we take the fruits and say, thank God. But we didn't look to see that that one that ain't doing nothing at all. What we are doing. My God, I pray that we will do something. And those that would love to do don't have the privilege. Because if you are called, nobody ain't paying you the money. You want to be up there. And when you up there, you will get the followers. Huh? A good follower, a good leader will have good followers. Where are the head leaders? I'm talking in Barbados. Where are they? Are you calling out? Are you crying out? Amen. Are you saying that we lack? Huh? We ain't talking about offering. We ain't talking about now. We talking about praise. We talking about giving thanks. We talking about calling down and ask God to change the atmosphere. That's what we want to do and to call upon. You understand what I'm saying? But you ain't tell me anytime that you hear when they cry out and say, "We need help for the church. We need help. We have souls that are dying, both young and old that are dying." Just when we say that the, the children, the school children are lacking a lot. We should know that you talk about that. But if you don't mind, to have a lot of good young people that will be on learning. And if you don't have the learning, you're going to get the job. Because this is the year that you must have some kind of education. And this kind of thing that going on, that we got to come out and cry out. And ask God to help us. That we pray for our, our school children. That the school will be open up. But action is a lot to do with it. Amen. Amen. And the tree of the vineyard is you and I. That is the tree of the vineyard. Amen. Are you occupying your space? Yes. If you are occupying your space, occupy it. If you are occupying your space, do it. If you are watering your salvation, continue watering. If you are continue praying, continue praying. That's what we have to do. The children of God have to pray for those children out there that are suffering with their education. You think the plan wrong and all that plan is all right. The plan is all right, but after when you grow up, you lack. What lack are you? They lack. I pray that God would help us, church. I pray that God would help us for what we know. And because in this year, in these days that we're living in, the young people know most, uh, amen, uh, about this and that and the next and what we didn't know before. So that is what I tell you that they're lacking something. So what we don't know, we can't teach them. But we can pray and ask God to open up for them. Amen. And to open up in the name of Jesus, I pray. Let pray somebody. I hope somebody will keep praying in the name of Jesus. Amen. To open up, open up, open up, open up. And there are some of you that, that were coming here and here and there, and not only at this church, at many church for many years, many years, and still bearing no fruit. And still feeble. Amen. I said, stay feeble. I pray to God that He will give strength.
turn to us. Amen. I pray that he will change things around her in the name of Jesus. The owner of the vineyard is watching you. And the owner of the vineyard is watching me. In the name of Jesus. The eyes of God washes to and fro. Beholding the good and the bad. In the name of Jesus. It ain't what we know. It ain't what we thought. It ain't what we heard somebody say. It ain't what we go along with somebody. But it's the way that we know. It should be done this way. No, I can't remember the place that overseas. No, people cares nothing about God. I can't remember. I had it, and I said I should write it down. And this country had on this big thing. People care. I mean, happen here. I mean, in in New York. And let me tell you, thousands of people got killed, died, and I mean, it still didn't stop them. It still has stopped them from getting on and going on and carrying on and everything. It's just that people care nothing about their life now, about their soul. And they, they say, they look, when I go down, I go down. It is not that. That is not the end. Church, it is not the end. The end is not there. The end we have to face this man, which is the owner of the vineyard. You hear what I say? Don't let him cut you down. Amen. Don't let him find you fruitless. Let him find us fruitful. Make use of our space. Make use of our space. A lot can happen in three years time. Amen. Three years and you come get. You could come together. Three years, I, I, you can grow and grow and grow and grow. The Lord, hallelujah, thank you. Jesus, but God is watching over you and watching over me. Time clock is striking the hour. The owner wishes God. He is the owner, you know. He is the owner. Why God? He's the owner. The owner wishes God. is saying, cut it down. It bear no fruit. Amen. But you can watch and see the tree that it's growing produce. Amen. Hallelujah. Fruitful. Talk to someone. Somebody give their heart through you. Somebody give their soul through you. Somebody come to the Lord because you testify to them and because you talk to them and because you pray for them and all of that, you know. And, and, the, and the, 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 the master of the vineyard said that the person that ain't doing anything, the tree that ain't there, I do everything, I prolong it, I do the wrong it, I water it, I do everything I for you, I do everything to it so it didn't bring forth nothing, so you ain't down. But I have done what I know I have to do. Church of God, let us do what God want us to do and not what man think that we should do not what man think that we are not doing let us do what God want us to do and he will take care of you he take care of me and he take care of everyone amen, amen. amen. <laughs> which is one of us the fruitful tree receive the same nourishment as the others but only have leaves now the fruitful tree had the same nourishment, the same watering, the same thing. Church of God, we that are saved, have the same body praying for us. And somebody praying. And we seeking the same thing. And we come in and we worship God. And we give God our praise and everything. About what happened. Something went wrong. Some hallelujah. That is what I'm saying. That everyone that said, Lord, Lord is not going to enter. And that's what the word of God said. Bishop, you and me. The problem is kind hearted concerning God. But I am here to let you know that Jesus is asking the owner of the vineyard for a little more time for you and a little more time for me. Don't waste the opportunity. No, we're not going to waste the opportunity. We're going to take good control of it. Don't let us waste our time. God has been good to us in our sickness, in our pains, in our problems, in our ups and downs, 
problems and some kind of financial problems and all kind of problems. God has been good. He said, I'm giving you another chance. But we know that Jesus is asking his father for another more chance, another more year. Give another more time. My God heal them again. My God save them all over again. Lord, have mercy all over again. Lord, help them to dig run again. Help them to produce. Don't give up on them. We are not giving up. Amen. Don't give up on me. I'm not giving up on you. But we are trying to do what God wants us to do. We want to dig around. We want to get around. We want to be watering. We want to continue to be praying. We want to do what God wants us to do. When you come to church and you find things in it, sing a song. Give praise to God until the time comes. Don't look around and say this and that and next what you come to do. You come to praise. And you come to do what God wants you to do, not what you think man wants you to do. So may God bless you today. Amen. And when you leave here, say, thank God I want to be like the fruitful tree Amen. that watered and God prunes around. I can see my results from it. God bless you real good. A nice audience here. And may you continue trusting and seeking the will of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.